Hey you, welcome back to another episode of Cesaroni. My name is Cesaroni and I'm posting my life journey here on the internet. I have bittersweet news. This is the last video of Mexico. So I am so heartbroken. It's been a messy, chaotic, but wonderful time here in Mexico City. So sit back, relax, and I appreciate you for being here and enjoy the last episode of Cesaroni in Mexico series finale. So this video was recorded in October of 2020 and it's fall time. So it's beautiful outside. Beautiful times to walk outside this is the main boulevard and I was feeling cute but my delete later <laughs> so I checked out this amazing restaurant in Polanco and I had lunch here I ordered a avocado flatbread which was amazing and so good that I came back and had it again <laughs> so this is a flatbread with the avocado it's actually very good you should try this and if you know me I can never have enough of Indian food so I came to this mama and papa shop restaurant to have amazing Indian food and I ordered butter chicken with basmati rice and some naan, garlic naan. And then later on, I went to go get a flan because I can. This is my laundry, and this is how you dry clothes in Mexico City. And I kept on with my fitness routine by taking a run at the park, as always. And it's just beautiful. Uh, Mexico takes parks very seriously. It's almost like New York City with Central Park, so. And of course, I ruined my exercise by going to my favorite French restaurant and ordering myself all of these sugar and carbohydrates, which were absolutely fantastic. And then I had a little friend and look at her, look at her. This is a grocery store. Uh, yeah, you put your cart on that little thing and then you go upstairs because it's three-story grocery stores in Mexico City, so. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the U.S. Embassy during daytime. This is how it looks like. Um, they have these fences in front of it to kind of prepare for protests. And this is my Airbnb. I was, I think, at the 17th floor. I don't remember. But yeah, that's the building I was staying at. The weather here is just absolutely wonderful. You get all kinds of weather here. Um, it's raining and it's raining and then thunderstorms and you get sunny skies. So this is me at nighttime. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of lightning that night. And that's the BBBA, which is one of the largest banks in Mexico. And they are based out of Spain. So what a flex to have a nice building with LED lights. And yeah, it's nice. My friend Martin called me and he says that he wanted to join me in Mexico City. So I said, come on down, the price is right. <laughs> so Martin is gonna come and visit me which is absolutely amazing. So there he is coming in. Do you see that airplane? That's Martin flying over Mexico City. So welcome to Mexico City, Martin. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's expecting him. <laughs> I said, Martin, you have to try these tacos. <laughs> these are ant larvae tacos and he actually enjoyed them. 
Oh, look at this little, little French bulldog. Mm, so cute. So, Martin and I wanted to go downtown, so we did. And this is what we find. The protests here in Mexico City downtown. And they're protesting here in front of the Zocalo. Guys, this is a daily reminder that we are privileged individuals. Us who live in other countries that don't suffer. That if you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat today or tomorrow, that's a blessing. So be, ha be thankful. So Martin had the idea that he wanted to get to know um, Santa Fe, Mexico City. And Santa Fe consists mainly of high-rise buildings surrounding a large shopping mall, Centro Santa Fe, which is currently the largest mall in Latin America. I can't believe we didn't go there, Martin. So it's absolutely beautiful to be here. Um, there is also like a little park on the side of this. And um, there's actually a self-standing Starbucks in the middle of the park, which was fantastic. And I did not want to leave this place. I wish that in my trip in Mexico City that I came here early on. So you live and you learn. but. Um, we had an amazing time out here. We had amazing weather, uh, amazing drinks. We had beers and alcoholic beverages. And... So Martin and I made friends with some Americans that were down here as well. And we decided to go to a drag show. And our friend, he commented to me in my ear. He's like, is that Nancy Pelosi? I literally cracked up and laughed on the floor. I cannot. <laughs> so guys, um, work has demanded me to come back to the office. So I'm forced to go back to the United States and work back in the office half time. But I am so happy that I had an opportunity to be in Mexico and I'm so happy that I shared it with you. I now, as of this video, have 14 episodes, so I'm going to review all my Mexico City journey. Let's go. Mexico has been so crazy, dude. So their art are not even from Mexico City. I want it. 